Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today's video is another Forza Thong guide. Uh, this week's challenge is called the apple of my eye and it's all based around a retro supercar of your choice. So without further ado let's get stuck in, I don't like hanging around. Um, so firstly you're going to want to pick yourself a retro supercar. Now obviously there is plenty of cars to choose from on this list, uh, there's a lot of Ferraris, um, my personal favourite is one of the, either the Jag XJ220 or the McLaren F1, absolutely epic car, but that's not what I'm going to go for, no, I'm going to pick the 2004 Porsche 911 GT3, uh, as it's very cheap and accessible, it's only 65 grand from the auto show, which makes it probably the cheapest retro supercar and obviously you guys can access it uh, i have made a tune called forzathon easy uh, and in essence it will hit just over 250 mile an hour now the first challenge wants you to win three road racing series events so that is very very easily done obviously you filter your map just to show road races uh, and i went to the moorhead wind farm circuit now if you remember on my previous forzathon video i created a one lap race um, on this sort of road racing track uh, and you can still find that blueprint is still available um, thank you very much as well for all of the people that used it I believe over 500 people raced on that sort of little blueprint for last week's Thorsophon um, so massively appreciate it so you can reuse that one and then all you have to do is win three races on it so as soon as you finish you come back out uh, and you go find it again and then you do it again two more times uh, third challenge here just wants you to earn three stars um, on a specific speed trap now the speed trap in question is this one just by the express rail, rail yard uh, called the roman mile and it wants you to get three stars on it which means getting 225 mile an hour uh, it is actually quite easy uh, depending obviously on what car you use and what tune you have with it now like I said earlier this Porsche will hit about 250 mile an hour um, I did have to do a lot of tinkering with it now as I've just shown you on the map the best place to start from is from the rail yard uh, and then you have a longer run up to hit it so as you can see that basically got 227 mile an hour which is just over three stars so very simple there uh, final challenge just wants you to drive a total of 15 miles in your retro supercar now of course i just think it's quicker and easier to bomb it straight up and down the motorway uh, that way you haven't got any sort of massive turns in the way or anything like that uh, you can just go flat out for the best part of four or five minutes uh, 15 miles is about two runs um, of the motorway so do one length turn around and come back by the time you get to the bottom you should hit about 15 miles um, and obviously in this Porsche with this tune um, it really won't take you very long all you have to do like I said is gun it up and down the motorway and you'll have that challenge done within five minutes so there we have it it's actually a fairly easy force one it shouldn't take anyone more than 10 minutes maybe um, which is quite good because there's loads of other stuff going on now um, if you haven't seen my previous video it's a guide to getting all 21 stars on the new top gear um, story missions so if you do get a chance to check that out or if you're struggling with that please do check that out um, apart from that guys I want to say a massive massive thank you for everyone's support um, especially lately as well it really does mean a lot to me um, I hope you're still enjoying my content and I hope it's helping you out uh, if you enjoyed this and it helped you out don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more videos just like this with everything gaming thank you very much guys take care